just, I came back to you today to show you the things I found at the vintage market. I hope everyone is doing well and everyone is having a great, wonderful spring, spring weekend. It hasn't rained here this weekend. Miraculous, because it seems like it has rained every weekend since uh, uh, February. But anyway, the weather was perfect for the market. You could not have asked for a better day if you planned it all out yourself. It was spectacular. So Brenda and I got up early and we rode down to the fairgrounds in Isla White County and just had a blast, just had a blast. I didn't buy a lot. Hmm, how many things did I buy? One, two, three, eight things, but they're small things. You know, I guess when you get to be my age and you go to a vintage market, particularly since, you know, we cleaned up my mother-in-law's house and found things that I liked and I, I thought were things that I wanted to collect or had collected. You go and go, oh, I got that. I got that. Oh, I had that. I got rid of that when I downsized. Oh, I had that. Wish I hadn't gotten rid of that. You know, it's kind of that, that game. But there were a lot of people there and everyone was having fun. Everyone was super nice and friendly. And I just, it was a great day. It was a spectacular day. So, but I have to say, I had to get on Brenda one time. She was not behaving. And I'm gonna insert a picture right here so you can see what I mean. Did you see that? I can't take her anywhere. I just can't take her anywhere. She acts up, but I, I snatched her straight and she got on the right path. So I'm gonna show you now what I got. I didn't think to film Brenda's stuff when we got back home. I don't know why, but anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got. None of it, none of it did I need, but hey, what fun would it have been if I hadn't bought anything? So to add to my collection, of rolling pins. This is one that I hadn't seen and I have them on my refrigerator in a crock and then I have one laying in a basket because it won't fit in the crock. So that little one was lonely laying in that basket. So I got him a little friend. I got this one and look at those handles. That's the way it was made. I've never seen one like that. So I paid $8 for this. And typically, I think I see them most of the time for anywhere between 12 and 15 around here. So $8 for one that was really unusual is a very good price, I thought. And then, I'm sorry, I have a confession. I bought another thermos. I know, I know, I didn't need another thermos. But, but, I did not have one like this. There it is. It's also got the name tag of the person who owned it before me. And there it is. And I like the size of it and it is old. Uh, it is made by the thermos company, that much I can tell you. Anyway, I liked it and it's, it's all in one piece. It's, it's good. I think I paid, I did pay $15 for it because there's the tag right there. Okay, confession over. Now, I always, everywhere I go, I look for butter pats. I want ironstone white butter pats. I cannot find them, I, I can't. I mean, you can find them on eBay and stuff like that, but I wanna find them in the wild. I want the thrill of finding it. But I did find this little butter pat and it goes with my Blue Danube dishes, although, I don't think it's made by, I don't know if it's made by the same company or not. It just says on the back, some kind of German name with about 15 letters in it. And um, it says Germany. I know you can't see it, but there it is. But it does match the Blue Willow and I didn't know they had butter plates for that. So not Blue Willow, Blue Danube. Anyway, I bought it. This was $7, crazy price for a little tiny dish, but, you know, I don't know. 
Okay, the cutest little thing I bought, and it's teeny weeny weeny. Look at this little tiny old, whoops, old bottle brush tree. Is that not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? I've never seen one that small. I just couldn't leave him there. I just couldn't. It would be like leaving a puppy at the doggy orphanage. Isn't it cute? And I think I paid, I want to say $5, but that's a lot for this little itty bitty. But considering the ones that are itty bitty bit bigger are like 12 to 15, and I just thought he was so cute. So there you go. I got this little, uh, uh, I guess it's a soap dish, but I like the color of it. I thought it would go either in my kitchen or my bathroom. It's a really pretty blue. It's made by Hall. It says Hall, made in USA, 705. So, and that was $5. I got it because I thought, if I leave this here, I'm gonna think about it and I'm gonna regret it. So, $5. Now, I got this little masher. You know, I collect mashers. I think I have four or five of them. Maybe this makes six. This either makes five or six. I don't know. This was 10 but the lady let me have it for six, I believe. I was shocked, I didn't ask her. I didn't say, can I have it for less or what's the best you can do or whatever. It was just, um, she said, I went up to her and said, I wanna pay for, and I, I don't know if she thought I was gonna ask her to bring the price down, but she said, you can have it for six. I'm like, okay, got it. So it's really pretty. It's had some love, look at that bottom. It's got a little, little den in it. I guess that was where maybe there was a knot in the wood and it finally gave in. I don't know, but it's cute. I'm not, of course not gonna use it to mash anything. And then I got this little old wooden spoon to go in my cup of wooden utensils. This was $3. And the very last thing I got is this. Now you would think that was a vase, and maybe it is. It is Royal Ironstone China, Johnson's Brothers, England, but it was sitting with a bowl and pitcher, um, another piece, I can't remember if it was for soap or whatever, of the same pattern. So the lady, I didn't think the lady would sell it separately because I picked it up. I said, oh, it goes with the set. She said, I'll sell it separately. So she seems to think that maybe it was for toothbrushes or you could use it for toothbrushes. I don't know if y'all might know something that looks like this that goes with a bowl and pitcher. And I mean, it was a set. I can't remember. I think the other piece with it was a soap dish, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I thought it would make a cute little vase. So I got this for, ooh, what did I get this for, $12? It was either $8 or $12, I can't remember. Um, I think it was 12, and that's all I got. That is it, can you believe it? Can you believe it? I didn't wanna spend all my money, because next week, my husband and I are going with Brenda and her husband to Charleston, so I have to save, I have to save my pennies for that trip. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what I got. I'm gonna put in some clips uh, that I took of the show. I didn't get a lot, um, cause you know, I was, I don't know. I just don't do that well, I've told you that before. But I did film some and um, it was just a lot of people there and I didn't, you know, I don't wanna invade somebody's space. So I'll put in what I have and then that'll be it. Maybe I'll get some filming in Charleston, but I'm not sure because it's going to be purely a vacation. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching and happy hunting to you if you're going into any flea markets, vintage markets, or antique shopping. So take care and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Oh, right. I might have.